we're now going to be looking at organohalides and we're going to spend a lot of time looking at how organohalides are prepared and then in a subsequent chapter we're going to see how they react. And organohalides aren't new to us, we've been using them all semester, but let's first review a few things about the structure and classification. So here I have a series of methyl halides from fluoride down to iodide. And we know that fluorine is the most electronegative of the halogens. It's also the smallest. So if I draw just a circle around the fluorine to represent its size, it's pretty small. But this does have a large dipole here because of fluorine's electronegativity. So that's a very polarized bond. Then as we move down our series of halides, they become less electronegative and larger. So chlorine's a little bit larger than fluorine, bromine's larger than chlorine, and iodine is larger than bromine. Well, this has an impact on the bond. So in the case of the large iodine atom, this size is really pushing this bond apart and that causes it to be longer than the carbon fluorine bond. The small atom, we don't have that same uh, type of push from the bond, so that bond is shorter. We also know that bond length goes hand in hand with bond strength, so because the CF bond is the shortest, it's also the strongest, and the CI bond being the longest is the weakest. Moving on to classification, we learned how to classify organohalides way back at the beginning of the semester. So for example, if you look at this bromide, it's on a carbon bonded to two other carbons. So for that reason, we would call this a secondary bromide. And then the chloride is on a carbon bonded to one other carbon, so that would be a primary chloride. Now this next one may be new to you, but if you think about what we learned with NMR, if you have a hydrogen on a double bond, we called that a vinyl hydrogen and it was in the vinyl region of the NMR spectrum. Anytime you have something directly on a double bond, that's going to be called vinyl. So this is a vinyl fluoride. And then finally, down here at the bottom, we have an iodide. And in this case, it's not directly on the double bond. It's on a carbon next to the double bond. So it's one atom removed from the double bond. This is the allylic position. And we've talked about allylic carbocations, where you have a positive charge at this position. Well, since there's an I attached at that position, we call this an allylic iodide.